I haven't seen them. I haven't seen the photos. I wanted to channel myself, so I bought a 35mm camera. Tjena, I'm Lavin Imar, and welcome to another video. First timer, consider subscribing to it. So about two months ago, I bought a Nikon EM 35mm camera. I've been looking for one. I found this one at a drift store. I spent some money on it. Don't know if it works. So now, one and a half months later, we have the result. If the money I spent was for nothing and the camera doesn't work, or if I should sell all my gear and quit. But before I open it and see if there's any photo at all, let's talk about shooting film. With a digital camera, there's a lot of room for errors, but when you only have a specific amount of photos to take, usually like 24 or 36, you don't want to waste them because every single photo will cost you money. I noticed that I put a lot of more effort into every single shot that I took and I rethinked every move with the camera, but it gives you a challenge and you will learn from it. And that special feeling of turning the film, it's unbelievable and the feeling is amazing. That compared to a digital camera when you can grab the camera, go out and rapid fire off 500 photos where maybe five of them are actually usable. It definitely gives you another perspective on photography and the craft behind it. So now when we're going through that, let's see if I manage to snap any photos at all. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen the photos. Not bad, not bad. I, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of impressed on myself here. The first two photos at least. Damn, they're actually, they're actually good. They're, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm stunned. Uh, except this one. I don't know what this photo is. I'm still trying to learn. But the camera works and the camera takes photos. Some of them are a little underexposed. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Even here's one that's like, even though they're, they're black and white photos. Even though they're underexposed and overexposed, they kind of look dramatic. Doesn't really matter. Black and white photos will never look bad. And these photos are actually, I kind of like them. They, they give a certain vibe to them when there's black and white. Yeah, you barely see who it is. But there's a photo. There seems like there's some, some light coming in. Yeah, there's definitely some light coming in. They're, they look really, really nice, most of them. The camera did a great job, but I'm pretty sure there's some some light leak. It could be my fault, maybe it's not the camera. I would definitely show all the photos. I just need to have them over on, on my computer first. Pretty good looking photos. I don't know what's going on here, but the style of it, it's... This one is actually... It looks so classy. I'm impressed with myself. Even though the photo didn't turn out or look the way I thought they were gonna look. This is... This is amazing. I love it. So there's some film there. You can tell there's some, some film here and there that are destroyed. So they didn't really turn out like 36 photos. I didn't get 36 photos at all. I'm pretty sure I double exposed some of them, but it is what it is. And I learned from it, definitely. So, because this took one and a half month, apparently black and white photos take longer to develop. Before this arrived, I bought a film with color, finished that film off, sent it away. So I'm still waiting. He said it would probably take around two or three weeks, but I definitely next time, I'll probably buy a black and white again because the results are I love it. Black and whites never look bad. We'll see how the color one will end up. It was a 36 ex exposure as well. I'm excited. This was fun. I didn't expect so many photos to turn out that way. Now I need to put them on, on my computer. Maybe I can save them a little bit. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy that I actually made the photos look as good as they did. And as I said, black and whites never look bad, even though it's a little bit underexposed, it still gives that dramatic look to it. From now on, I'm probably just gonna shoot black and whites. I need to figure out why, if there's a light leak. Definitely got off topic for a little bit there. If you wanna challenge yourself, definitely buy a film camera. It will take your photography to the next level. And this is an amazing feeling of going back to basic and learn the craft from from the beginning kind of shooting digital is kind of easy if you take a bad photo you can delete it if you take an unfocused photo you can delete it but the, ten the tension of taking a photo and waiting 
for one and a half month before we can see the photo. If you have the budget for it, try to get a 35 millimeter camera. I got this one at a drift store, so you can find them pretty cheap. This one was in great condition, so it cost a little bit more. Still a lot less than a digital camera for sure, but then the film will cost you. Uh, that's why I bought black and white to begin with. And I probably still go with black and white. You just need to find a better way to develop the photos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.